I was muted this whole time. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh man, I was doing an intro and everything. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, good morning everybody. How's it going? Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody to the stream. My name is Srin. I'm a cyberpunk cat girl VTuber. I love to play FPS games and single player story games. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit like and subscribe over on YouTube. Uh, that's where I stream most of the time. Hey, good morning over on Facebook as well. Hello, hello. Hi, Andrew Borden. Cyril, how's it going? I love Firebird. Oh, hell yeah. Good to see you. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm streaming on YouTube and Facebook Live at the same time. Uh, it's gonna be a short stream today. We're pretty much just gonna chat and stuff and... We're just gonna have fun and hang out and see how everybody's doing and stuff, you know? But yeah, it's so good. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. I have so many things um, on my screen right now. It's 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 kind of a lot. I have I have so much going on. I haven't done like a multi-stream in in like in a while, you know. So it's like oh, so much stuff happening. Hey, good morning, Via. Good to see you. Uh, honestly, I, I I wasn't thinking of playing a game or anything. I was thinking we could just hang out and chat and whatever, talk about our day and and whatever you want to talk about. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, I guess I gotta. What do you want to talk about? I guess I could talk about the anime I've been watching recently and manga and stuff. Hey, Sailor Machima. Good to see you. Over on, over on YouTube. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh, it's you from Discord. Yeah, yeah, I know I know you, Pontiac. Pontiac Firebird. I know you, I know you. Don't, don't worry about it. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we could, we could talk about what we've been up to this week or this month or anything. You know, we don't really have a lot of opportunities where we kind of like hang out and, and chat and stuff, so... I, I think that could be fun. For me, it's like, I have exams this week, so I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but um, I think I think it'll be okay. I'm, I'm not that nervous. Like, I'm not super like, oh, the world is, the sky is falling. Like, oh, I'm going to fail this exam nervous, you know? Like, I'm, I'm usually not like that when it comes to streams. Usually when it comes to streams, I'm very... and like exams and stuff, I mean, I don't know why I kept saying streams. But like, well, yeah, like with exams and stuff, right? Like, I'm pretty chill. Um, I'm not that worried about the exam. I think I'm gonna do pretty good. Reason being, it's not a hard course. And I already did good on the midterm, so I'm really not that concerned. But yeah, hey, good morning, Akira. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, for all of my Facebook, uh, for all of my Facebook homies, if you haven't yet, consider checking out my YouTube. Uh, that's where I stream the most. That's where you'll see most of my content and stuff like that. So if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check it out. Um, the link is on my profile. I can also just plop it down here for you guys if you if you guys are interested. But yeah, um, I have exams. I hope if you have exams too, I hope that's going well or going to go well or whatever. Um, I hope it's not too hard. I hope you studied as much as you could and I believe in you. I think, uh, I think you're going to, uh, you're going to ace it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like cross my fingers. You can't see my, my hands, but I'm crossing my fingers for you guys. Crossing my fingers. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, Kane. How's it going? What else was I gonna say? Uh, oh uh, yeah, I was gonna mention like anime and manga. It's been really well on my mind recently. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys have been on my streams recently, but I was telling the stream and I posted on socials and stuff like, I got this Kobo e-reader because after Free Run ended, like the anime ended, 
I was really, really sad. I was really, really, like, bummed out about, like, about, like, not being able to continue the story. Like, honestly, bros, I don't think Free Run's gonna get a season two. I'm gonna be real. I, I don't think Free Run's getting a season two. But I was really bummed about that. So I picked up a Kobo, like, it's like an e-ink e-reader for, like, reading books and stuff. So I got a Kobo, and... I got all of the free run manga and I binged all of it in like a week and now I have no more free run to read and I thought to myself oh that sucks now I have nothing to read so I got a whole bunch of other manga uh, from the Kobo store and whatever I got what do I have right now I have whisper me a love song it's like this Yuri manga but I've been watching the anime and it seems really cliche, so honestly, like, I don't know if I'm gonna stick with that one, just cause, like, that kinda sucks, honestly. It kinda sucks. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I have, uh, I have this, I have this pretty, pretty decent one I'm, I'm reading right now. I don't know if you guys know it, it's called Inspector. Like, In slash Spectre, and it's like, a paranormal mystery action kind of thing with like a dude who's like part yoka like who's like part demon part human and like this this like this girl who's like a liaison with the with the demons who tries to like solve their problems and stuff it's all right it's 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 not too bad so far um if you're big on like paranormal mystery kind of things. I think it's gonna be your cup of tea. I like the art style a lot. Like I think it I think it was drawn really when I see and stuff. Um the story isn't like the most compelling that I've read, but it's not bad. It's it's okay. I have this other let me see, what else am I reading? I'm I'm actually kinda curious. Uh Actually, I haven't been reading that whole much, um, other than like free run and like that stuff, honestly. But I've been watching a lot of anime too. Uh, I I think if you guys were like followed my socials and stuff, like currently reading Glepnir, finished watching Reincarnated Sword, now watching Fallout. Oh, nice. Inspector is good. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's it's not bad. I think like it takes a while to like really get going. But when it does, I think it gets more interesting. Let me look into Gleipnir, actually. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I use this service called My Minds, which is kind of like, like a bookmarking service. And it's really good. It's so good. Like, I basically, like, whenever I have something interesting, I just save it to My Minds, and it just bookmarks, and I can just go back anytime, and look back on it for reference and whatever. It's really useful, honestly. All right, Reincarnated as a Sword looks cute. Down looks cute. Gleipnir looks pretty interesting. I'll save that to my mind as well. Cool, cool. What anime are you talking about that's cliche? Uh, it's this Yuri, it's this Yuri anime called Whispering, uh, no, no, Whisper Me a Love Song. It's that one. It's, it's kind of cliche. I gotta go, wish you happy day as every time. Thank you, Angel. You too, have a good one. And hey, Jorge, good to see you. Or if it's George, let me know. I always say like Jorge, but I know some people say George. I don't know if it's George or it's Jorge, so just let me know if, uh, if I ever get it incorrect. But yeah, uh, I will save those to my minds. I'll take a look at those ones because they look interesting. The art style looks really nice. I'm digging that. I like it. There's like other anime that I've been watching recently. There's been so many anime that like I've had to, I've been watching. There's been so many that it's like I've basically like had to make a list of the anime that I've been watching um, just for this very occasion. Hey, Ni hey, Nina, how's it going? Good to see you. 
Uh, let me see here. Let me see. I've been watching... Oh, okay, okay. There's a couple anime that I'm watching right now. There's this, there's this anime called The Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio. It started out as a manga. And it's been adapted to anime and it just premiered. And that one's really cute. It's about, like, these two voice actors who get on, like, a radio show. And the thing with them is, like, they're both, like, anonymous, right? Like, they're, they're, they're quote-unquote anonymous, right? Because it's, like, nobody recognizes them in their private life. And they try to keep it, like, a secret. And they kind of, like, hate each other at the beginning, I guess. Like, they kind of have, like, an issue with each other because of, like, a misunderstanding. But it's supposed to turn into, like, a Yuri romance comedy. And it seems really cute so far. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking that one a lot. There's, like, other ones, too, that I've been watching with, like, varying tones of Yuri. I have, like, Jellyfish can Swim in the Night. It's about, like... I guess it's about, like, this artist who gave up on art. But she's like inspired to pick it up again because of this like this idol or like this disgraced idol who like who's like a huge fan of her artwork and it inspired her to keep going and stuff like that and it's, it's really cute it's supposed to be like a like a like a an ensemble cast kind of thing so it's like it's like an anime about like a group of homies and stuff we haven't seen the other homies yet in the anime yet but yeah. Oh, actually, I think it's an original, like, anime production. I don't think there is a manga for Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Nights. I could be wrong. I, I might be getting it wrong. Never mind, I was wrong. I got it wrong. Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night has a manga. But I know that there's one that I'm watching right now that's original anime. Never, never had a manga. Citrus is a cute Yuri. Yeah, Citrus is the classic, isn't it? I gotta re reread it, honestly. And hi, Leon Kennedy. Hi, Nina. Hi, Kagemine Rin over on Facebook. Welcome, welcome. And hi, Derek over on YouTube. How's it going? And no, uh, I don't think I've seen Mashley, honestly, uh, either. I'm not familiar with that one. Hmm. I I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like, there's so many anime and manga that I haven't read and that was a big reason why I wanted to start um, reading stuff on my Kobo because I was thinking about it because it's like it's like there's so many good stories that I haven't seen yet because I haven't bothered to pick up a book and a couple weeks ago I was kind of really really committed to the idea I was like I was like, enough is enough. I'm going to get an e-reader. I'm going to get an e-reader. I'm going to start reading books. I'm going to start reading manga. I'm going to start reading nonfiction. I'm going to start reading, 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 reading. It's honestly been incredible for me. I've had a great time, honestly. Like, I can't even stress how reading using the Kobo has like kind of like changed, like, the changed the way that I pass time. It's like, I used to always just like grab my phone and I'd scroll socials and I get so bored and I'd still keep scrolling and whatever like that. And then I got this Kobo e-reader and honestly like, there are so many times where I would pick up my phone usually that I've replaced with picking up my, my, my Kobo. And I just read like a chapter of manga like, every once in a while, I would read a chapter of this book I'm reading called Atomic Habits by James Clear. Atomic Habits is this book about, like, how we shape our habits and how if you understand how habits work in the brain, we can actually develop good habits and get rid of bad ones easier, right? So I've been reading Atomic Habits because I've been thinking about it. And, and honestly, like, I feel like it's so, so insightful. It's so useful. I, I highly recommend if you guys are interested um, in how to like improve your productivity and stuff like that, I highly recommend checking out um, Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's really, really good. Highly recommend it. 
Hey, good morning, Crispy. Good to see you. I prefer to have the physical manga and light novels. Oh yeah, that's fair. For my case, um, for my case, I don't have like physical space. Um, I don't have enough space like in my room. Like I'm running out of space. It's kind of a mess, honestly. I'm embarrassed to say. But yeah, like for me, it's like what I like about the Kobo is like everything is so easy to grab. And that's kind of like the thing with me. One of the things, one of the things that they say in, in Atomic Habits is like, if you want to, if you want to develop a good habit, then what you want to do is you want to make it easy to do that habit. And honestly, the fact that like, I can just pick up my Kobo and I can read whatever book I want is is proof enough that that is making my habit easier like a habit i want to develop and it has it's really helped honestly like i'm more of a reader now i used to just like as i mentioned right like i used to just like be bored of all my mind and like read like go through social media and whatever and like nah, 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 whatever but it's like yeah no ever since i picked up this kobo like i've been reading more and more and it's been wonderful Hey, MKR017 over on YouTube. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. And and Cross, sorry I missed you. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. I'm confused of your gender, says Prince over on Facebook. Good. Very good. Anyway. <laughs> also, hey, Cyril. Your Lie in April, that's another one that I haven't read yet. Oh my goodness. I really gotta hop on that one, honestly. Not gonna lie. I gotta hop on that one. And Saru, good to see you. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Gender? Yes. Gender? Yes. Sexuality? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just uh, take, a, take a swig here of my gamer subs. Not sponsored, by the way, not affiliated. I'm so EB. You and me, bro. You and me both. You and me both, homie. I am, I'm pretty sleepy too, but I've been trying to... So this is what I've been trying to do, right? I've been trying to... Um commit things I want to do every day into habit, right? And what I'm doing to make that happen is I have like a list. I have like a list of to-dos. Um, I use like the app Todoist, but a another good one you can use is called Superlist. And what I have is I basically have like a recurring task. I have recurring tasks that, that repeat every single day. And basically, because I'm committing that to like writing, I'm committing that to like a specific time and stuff. I like to think that's going to help me um, procrastinate less and be more productive and stuff. So I have like, I have like different tasks on on my list. Like I have like wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. I have, um, you know, clean clean my beds right at like. 8.10, read the news at like 8.30 in the morning and stuff, right? And I just have all these different tasks that I want to get done every single day so I can develop habits. And I have it on the list. And that's how I've been trying to be productive and like change what I do every day. Because honestly, for the last week, for the last week, I have been like, I've been like staying, like I've been sleeping in for the last week. Like I would wake up at like 8 o'clock and then fall straight back asleep to like, until like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at noon, right? And it really sucked, honestly. It, it, it kind of bugged me out that like, I was wasting so much time on that stuff, you know? I, I honestly hated that so much. Oh, what's happening here? Why did my network go weird? What the heck? Personal hotspot? What the heck is connected to my personal hotspot? Alright, give me one second, alright? I'll be right back one second, chat. Give me one second here. I, I just gotta do something real quick.
All right, hi chat. Hello. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right. But yeah, what was I saying? Like habits, yeah. Basically like it's basically the same idea, Sailor. Um but it's just like instead of habits, like alarms, I have like I just have it on the list and it just pops up as notifications on my phone basically. And that's how I'm doing it. It's pretty good though, honestly. Like I've been so this whole like past week, I've been kind of like in a rut, honestly. Like I've been I've been kind of like struggling um to do things and stuff so i was thinking this week would be a nice like reset and yeah i could i could try to change my habits try to change what i'm doing every day until like i become like more productive or whatever you know that's what i've been thinking of okay hold on i'm i i i'm gonna like i'm gonna like I'm gonna like rapid fire mention some anime here. Have you guys been watching the Blue Archive anime? I'm gonna I'm gonna rapid fire anime here. I wanna get back onto anime. I've been watching the Blue Archive anime. It's animated by Yostar. Um, if you've seen like the Arc Knights anime and stuff like that. Welcome back, EPT Okado. Thank you, Cyril. But yeah, like, what's it called? Like, the Blue Archive anime, honestly, it got me into Blue Archive. It's kind of crazy. I saw the first episode, and then I saw that they were giving away currency. And I was like, oh, well, now that you mention currency, yes, I think I will join. I think I will try Blue Archive. It's, it's pretty fun, honestly. The anime is pretty fun, and... I gotta say the game is pretty fun. Like it's not like it's not like super involved, I guess. Like it's not like super involved, like in like Genshin or Honkai or whatever. But it's still kind of challenging, I think. Like you still have to be smart about how you're using um, the characters' abilities and stuff like that and stuff. But honestly, like. You know me, I'm 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 less when it comes to like gacha games, I'm less big on like optimizing and strategies and whatever. Like I don't really care. I just like playing as like the cute girls. I just like playing I just like playing the cute girls. That's that's basically my, my gacha strategy right there. I like living in my gacha hell. So true. It's so funny, honestly. I should just I should just rebrand. I should just go from like also, hey, Faco, good to see you over on Facebook. Yeah, it is pretty nice so far, isn't it? But honestly, like, I should rebrand. I should go from, like, cyberpunk cat VTuber and become, like, gotcha, gotcha game, cat curl VTuber who only plays gotcha games or whatever. It's so funny. I've, I've gotten into so many gotcha recently. It's kind of insane. And there's more. There's more that I want to pick up too, like there's Wuthering Waves when that comes out. Zen the Stone Zero I want to check out. Um, I want to try Hon Honkai Impact 3rd, like eventually, right? And stuff like that, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, like honestly, Blue Archive the animation is really cute. I like it a lot. Um, I think if you're a fan of Blue Archive already or you've been playing the game, I highly recommend you check it out because it's, it's great. I, I've heard from many people and honestly like the general consensus is you know it's very cute and it's just nice to see the girls like animated like fully animated and stuff it's just nice it's very good it's very cute it looks really fun and the animations are pretty yeah I agree Zenless One Zero looks awesome it, it looks incredible I play almost every gacha I find in hell indeed says Sailor over on YouTube. Well, you see, that's that's your problem. Good luck with that. <laughs> I have no advice. I'm sorry. It's over. I have no advice. I have I have no advice for that. I I know what to I know what to tell you. You're 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 in trouble. 
don't play Azur Lane, it's sus. Yeah, I, I saw like clips of I always see clips of Azur Lane on, on YouTube. Like there's this clip of like two characters from the show and one of them is like licking the cheek of the other character or something. Honestly, honestly, hear me out. I'm interested. I'm interested. I need to, I need to know more. I, I need to learn more. What is the lore reason for this? I, mu I must know. I need to know. I don't need advice. Oh yeah, that's fair. But yeah, like, Wuthering Waves is a big one. It looks really, really good. Uh, that's like the one I'm looking forward to right now. I haven't really been paying attention to it though, not gonna lie. I haven't- I haven't been paying attention to it. Someone talked shit on my boat girls? Yeah. Somebody on Facebook said that Azur Lane is sus. So if you have an issue with that, you're gonna have to go and- and- and, and talk to them. Give them a real talking to. But yeah, Blue Archive. Blue Archive's good. Genshin is fun. I don't really care about the Genshin drama. Like, I know people are so dramatic about Genshin right now, but honestly, like... Bros, chill. Chill out. Uh, the Honkai- Honkai Impact is, uh, one I want to try. Honkai Star Rail is pretty fun. I haven't tried- like, I haven't really gotten through it yet, because I want to save it for a stream. But, yeah, Honkai- uh, Honkai Star Rail looks really fun. I've been having a good time so far. And stuff like that, yeah. Azure Lane, I don't know if I'll try it, but maybe in the future, we'll see. Wuthering Waves is high on my priority list. Blue Archive is really fun, I like it a lot. And the girls are cute. My favorite girls in Blue Archive are like... I think like, Iori... Um... I guess Hoshino is pretty cute too. She's pretty cute. And stuff like that. But Iori is, Iori is like my favorite, I really like her design. And Toki as well. Asuma Toki. I, I like her design as well, she's very cute. There's like others I, I, I'm trying to think of, but my head is like so empty right now, I can't think of it. Someone on here talking shit, I know. I want to make art for them because the designs are very, very cute. However, I feel like an outsider since I don't play. Oh yeah, that's fair. But honestly, like, just do it anyway. There's so many, like, there's so many, like, gacha, like, artists who don't even play the games, but they draw the art. You know? And it's like... Yeah. Fair enough, why not? If you, if you, if you want to draw it, just do it, honestly. I'd love to see it. I think many people would love to see it, honestly. Do you have, like, socials? I'd love to follow you on socials, if you have, like, any public pages or whatever. I'd love to see. Is it your Instagram? Is your Instagram like your main page? I assume it is. I'll drop you a follow on Instagram. Like I'm looking at your art right now and it looks really cute. It looks really really cute. I I, I really like the uh, I like the fauna. And the Ubel. Alright, I'm sorry, I saw the Ubel. Okay. Followed. 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 Done. Followed you on followed you on Insta, followed you on threads. Done. I saw the Uba and I was just sold. I love I love Uba so much. She's so cute. She's so cute, so cute. But yeah, I like the uh I like the goth fauna. It looks really nice. And the one you did of Sucrose is really cute too. Oh my goodness. Okay, bros, I'm sorry to admit, I've never actually met Sucrose in the game. Reason being, I was basically rushing to get to Fontaine, as you guys know. So I'd never met Sucrose. Yet. I gotta do it eventually, though. Nobody- nobody mentioned- no- nobody- nobody be weird. Don't be weird, Tommy. Don't 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 call me out. Don't call me out. I'll I'll beat you up or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess you up. You know. Going back to YouTube sounds good. Yeah, I I, I prefer if people check me out on YouTube just because like that's where I stream the most, right? If you see a parent in my art, they're mostly green-haired girls. Yeah, I could tell. 
I think you have a thing for green hot girls, but that might just be my guess. I could just be wrong. I, I could be very wrong. So Neon Paris art soon. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I am green. I am green haired, aren't I? Oh, I forgot about that. Dudes, do dude, do dudes. Okay, okay. I'm going to mention this on YouTube Shorts and Facebook, and this is the only time I'm going to mention it. But I've been thinking about getting a redesign, though. I've been thinking about getting a redesign. Hear me out. What if I get a redesign and I'm like one foot shorter and cuter and brattier and stuff like that? I think that'd be really cute, right? What do you guys think? Would that be cute? I've just been thinking about it because like I've been thinking of like all the characters I love like Freena, Herta, Silverwolf, the Blue Archive girls, they're super cute, you know? Taiga from Toradora and stuff like that, right? And I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, what if I redesign and become smaller, become cuter? I don't know, I've been thinking about it. Like, I don't know, I'm kind of like done with the whole edgy thing, like, you guys know me on stream and stuff, like, I'm I'm so far from an edgy person, I, I'm not even close to being edgy, you know? So it's like, I kind of want to redesign, I want to be like, cute, bratty, like, short-tempered, gamer cat girl or something, you know? Just thinking about it, still cyberpunk though, yeah? Just thinking about it. Also, hey, Idy, good to see you. You'll become a child, no. Absolutely not. I'll be like Free Ren. You know how like Free Ren is so small and cute? You know you know how like Free Ren is so small and cute, but she has like like she has like such like an awesome adult voice. Like that's me. That's me. That's that's what I wanna do. Like I, I don't know if you guys heard like the English like the English dub for Free Ren. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, she's amazing. She's incredible. I love Rerun. And like, the voice for Ubo is really good. The VA who does like, Siri is really good too. Like, oh my god, I'm smitten. I love, I love, I love. I must take a temporary leave, might return. Yeah, no worries. Uh, the stream's not gonna go on for too long, but if you do drop by again, um, yeah, sounds good. You can't on YouTube? Cyril, you can't what on YouTube? Cool eyes and fluffy ears you got, then not gonna lie. Thank you, Osail. Or is it Osail? Good to see you though, how's it going? Sukatsuki Ryo though. Let me see if I can Google, because I'm not familiar with them from name. Let me see. Who is Ryo? Which one is Ryo? Non-playable character. Wait, is she really non-playable? Wait, 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 wait! Nobody told me. Nobody told me that Ryo from Blue Archive is non-playable. You can't play her. Oh. Oh shit, I got spoiled. Oh, I got spoiled. Oh shit. She's an antagonist, that's why. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been spoiled. I had no idea. It's too late. Now I know. She's an antagonist. Oh my god. Which sites have the English stuff for free run? Uh, I think it's only Crunchyroll. I, I think it's only Crunchyroll. I don't know, like, if you're in, like, an Asian country, like, in a Southeast Asia country or anything like that, I imagine you'll find more options and stuff, but I think here in North America it's basically just Crunchyroll. Also, hey! Harvey. Is it Harvey or is it Jarvey? Forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong. I, I tried to get it right the first time, but I'm some for some names I'm very un, uh, inexperienced. But hey, how's it going? Good to see you. It, it looks like Harvey to me, but I don't want to get it wrong. I'm Southeast Asian here, mate. Let's go. Shout outs. I think like, I think like the places where I have like my following on Facebook is like Vietnam, Singapore, Philippines, like that whole region, right? But like mostly in those places. I guess like I also have some viewers in like 
South America too, like Argentina, Argentina, Chile and stuff like that, right? And I have like a lot of people from Mexico too, it's really cool. Shoutouts to the Philippines, oh my god, Philippines mentioned, Philippines mentioned. Oh my god, oh my god, that's crazy. Oh my god. Jover. Yeah, it's so Jover, isn't it? But yeah, like, I've been thinking about it. It's like, I have so many, like, inspirations for, like, what, like, the vibes I kind of want from, like, a redesign and stuff. And it's like, here, I'll, I'll read them out to you guys, and you guys can tell me what you think. So these are the characters that I've been thinking of off of that, off the top of my head. Nonon. Nonon Jakazuri from Kill la Kill. Silverwolf from Hawkeye Star Rail. Herta from Hawkeye Star Rail. Taiga from Toradora. Farina from Genshin Impact. Nero, Iori, Toki from Blue Archive. Those are the ones I've been thinking of mostly when it comes to like a redesign. I think it'd be really cute. Like if we could like capture those vibes, you know? I, I think that'd be really cute. That'd be really fun. Also, hey, Devin, over on YouTube, how's it going? And hello, hello. Hello, hello. Over on Facebook, how's it going? But yeah, like, I have, I have many thoughts, honestly. I have many thoughts about, like... I have many thoughts about a redesign. I'm, I'm very excited to make it happen. Um, I don't really want the redesign to be a surprise. I've been reading this book called Show Your Work Right by Austin Kleon, and, and one of the big things they mention is like, your art, your, your, your content doesn't have to be like, hidden in secrecy, right? And, and I do believe in that, I, I do definitely like believe in that, like philosophy, it's like, if I'm getting something done, I'd rather just share it with the world than like keep it a secret until it's finished. So once I get like the redesign, um, like done and stuff like that, right? Like once like the reference sheet and whatever is finished, I'll probably share the redesign like as soon as possible, honestly. I'll share it with you guys as soon as possible. Cause it's like, it's gonna take us a long time to wait for the live 2D model and stuff and it's like, Ugh. It, it would look like I have nothing, like I'm doing nothing when that's not the case, right? Obviously I have things going on in the background, um, preparing here and there and stuff. Man. I always get like so nervous when it comes to like just chatting streams. I get so nervous because it's like, oh, oh man, who wants to who wants to hear me talk? This talking head, you know. But it's like, no, you guys. I always appreciate seeing you guys here. I I'll mention that over on Facebook as well. I'm very I'm very grateful for all of you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You gotta start Twitch too, Cyril. I don't think I'm ever going back to Twitch. I've I've told it to I've told it to people like a lot. It's like I'm never going back to Twitch. The reason why I stream on YouTube is because that was a conscious decision that I made for myself. Right? Cause it's like the thing is, right, like I thought about what I wanted to do in the future and it's like I don't just want to stream. I want to make videos in the future. You know, I wanna make videos I want to talk about things I'm interested in. I want to do more than just Twitch, honestly. And it's like, that's why I became a YouTuber over like just a Twitch streamer, you know? And also like, I'm going to be honest and transparent here. There are so many things about, there's so many things about YouTube that are just better than Twitch. Here's an example. On Twitch, you do not have control over your subscriptions. You cannot decide the price of your subs. On YouTube, I have two different tiers that I set up all on my all, all on my own. I decided the prices on my own. Shoutouts to my kitty paws and kitty aces, by the way, my members. Thank you so much. 
Oh, but yeah. Um, I decided the prices, I decided the perks, I decided all of those things, all on my own. YouTube let me do that. It's awesome. Here's another cool thing about YouTube. The shopping tab and stuff like that. You can insert, like, products or whatever, right? Into, like, your videos, into your stream stuff. It's super cool. Uh, and yeah. There's, like, other stuff, too. Like, having ads on, like, all of your videos and stuff. I know it's cringe and whatever, but it's, like, that's cool, too, I guess, you know? And also, like, my streams, my videos, my shorts, they're shown to people, like, all the time, you know? Like, even when I'm offline, they're still shown to people. And that is so powerful for discoverability, you know? Like, as a small creator, like, one of my dreams is to, you know, be, like, exposed to, like, a wider audience, meet more people and stuff like that, right? So, um, I felt that YouTube was gonna be more useful in that sense. Is YouTube going to be the metaverse everyone wanted? Ew. Don't mention metaverse ever again. Ew. Also, hey, heart a fire. There's your shout out. Welcome on in on YouTube. And yeah, um, if you're on Facebook, I will just remind you guys again, if you want to check out my YouTube, be sure to do so. I'd be very grateful if you do. Um, that's where I put most of my content. And if you want to support me, you can support me using Super Chats or you can become a YouTube member. As a member, you get access to exclusive benefits and behind the scenes content, and you get early access to new videos and stuff like that too. So YouTube is very awesome in Poggies. Be sure to check out YouTube if you're interested. And what else was I going to mention? Uh, let me think here. Oh, right. Um, I had an idea for a stream in the future. I don't know if you guys would be interested, but um, I had like, I have, I have like a fan who, 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 who made me think about like, big, like voice channels, right? I was thinking about like, oh wait, not, not voice channels, what was I saying? Thinking about like voice messages. What if, what if I did like a stream where if you sent me a super chat, I would read out your voice, like your message. I would read it out um, in the style that you want or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I only have, like, this voice, and that's basically it, right? I, I basically only have this voice, and that's it. So it's like, if you, like, what do you guys think of that? Like, would that be, like, a fun stream? Like, you send a super chat, I read it out on stream and stuff? Like, would that be fun? I guess it, I guess that counts as, like, a super chat reading stream, wouldn't it? But what do you think? Would that be fun or, like, not worth it? What do you guys think? I'd love to know. Kind of like Cameo. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like Cameo, isn't it? Happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you're here too, MKR. That'll be awesome. Yeah, it'd be so cute. Like, you just sent, toss me like, toss me all of the Kafka lines or whatever, and, and I'll try to say it in like my best Kafka impression. When I was streaming Honkai Star Rail on April Fool's, right, everybody was like, oh, you sound kind of like Kafka. And it's like, I don't know if I can hear it, honestly. I don't know if I can hear it. Sort of, I guess. I don't know. But but you know what I discovered about Kafka? Kafka has like a southern drawl to her voice. And it's like, oh man, I don't know if I could do that southern that southern drawl. Like at all. I don't know if I could do that, bros, honestly. Hey Quizke, good to see you over on YouTube. Hello, hello. Mommy Kafka, oh my god, everybody's mommy Kafkaing right now, oh my god. But I love her voice lines though, like I love I love Kafka's quotes. She's very she's very cool. I, I I'm excited to see more of her for sure. What is your dream motorcycles and bicycle? Uh I don't know, I'm not very big on, on motorcycles honestly. I guess like the Akira the the Akira motorcycle would be super cool to have, you know? But yeah, like, I don't know, like, I could never, I could never pull off, like, a Kafka, I think. I'd be so, I'd be so cringe. I'm so cringe. You know what I mean? Like, like, that line that she does, like, like, the first meeting line that, that she does in English and stuff, it's like, oh man, I could never do that. I'd be too shy to do that, honestly. I changed my mind. I could never do, like, a voice request stream. I'd be so embarrassed. I'd be so shy. 
I could never do that. You know, like, how do you do it? Like, hi, as hi, astral expressors. And then she has like that that laugh, right? And she's like, well, you caught me or something, right? Let me see. Hi, astral expressors. You know, something like that, right? I could never do that, dude. She has such a nice voice, though. Oh my god. You know? Oh, she's ha she has such a good voice. I love I love her voice so much. God, I wish I was Kafka. Or like, or like, or like that line that she says when she does like a weakness break, like, cut in the nets, right? Or something like that. She's like, cut in the nets or something, right? She's so cute. Kafka's so cute. Do you have TikTok? I used to. I don't really focus on TikTok anymore. I, I don't really care about TikTok. I'm not interested in TikTok. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Like, I don't find TikTok very useful for me these days, so I just don't even bother. YouTube is basically where I do everything. Like, if you want to see my YouTube shorts, they're on YouTube. If you want to see my streams, they're on YouTube. If you want to watch my videos, they're on YouTube and stuff like that, you know? So it's like, eh. I could never do an ara ara, honestly. I, I I can't I can't do the thing with like my tongue, you know, where like where you do the ara ara, you know. I can't do it. I I can't do it like a proper one. I haven't practiced either, to be fair. But I kind of suck at ara ara, you know. I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't say it pretty because I would be cringe and I would fail. Do you play any video games? I do. I, I like to play FPS games and single player story games. Uh, right now, I play games like Halo Infinite, The Finals. I used to play Call of Duty a lot and Battlefield 2042. Uh, I used to stream those a lot. I haven't streamed those in a while though. I've been playing this game called Content Warning recently by Landfall Games. It's kind of like Lethal Company, except you're an influencer. Like, imagine Lethal Company, except instead of being a worker, you're like, you're like Logan Paul or something. And that's basically content warning. Uh, I have like other games I'm playing too. Like I'm playing Genshin Impact. I don't stream it, but I play Blue Archive right now. Uh, I want to play more Honkai Star Rail. That's another one I play. Can you speak Japanese? No, I wish I could. I wish I could, but I never learned Japanese. Which is kind of funny given I'm a VTuber, you know? So it's like... Honestly, I should probably learn how to how to speak Japanese eventually, but um, I will save that for another time, I suppose. You know, I'll save that for another time. And yeah, if you're just hopping in the stream now, I'm streaming over on YouTube as well. So if you want to check out my YouTube, I highly recommend it. Call of Duty Mobile? No, I don't play Call of Duty Mobile. I, I used to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare back in 2019 and I played it up until like 20, 2021 or something like that. And then I played a little bit of Modern Warfare 2, but I've since given up on it. And I did not waste my money on Modern Warfare 3 because honestly, why would I spend $80 or like $100? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is like $80 US, right? That's $100 Canadian. Screw that. I am not gonna pay $100 Canadian just so I can play Call of Duty. I'm sorry, but goodbye. You know what I mean? Like, that's just so stupid. Like, I'm not playing- I'm not paying $100 for one game. Like, piss off, you know? Forget about it. Please play now while you're live. Nah, it's all good. This is a just chatting screen. This is just chatting stream. If you want to watch me like play games and stuff, I highly recommend checking out my YouTube. Try playing Punishing Grey Raven. Sorry, hard. I missed that message. But yeah, um, I do want to try that one at some point. It looks pretty cool. I saw the animation by Dylan Goo, right? And it's like, wow, that looks so cool. I want to try it. I definitely want to to pick it up eventually. Oh, sorry to hear that, Marco, about your YouTube account. That sucks. And hey, Min, good to see you. Welcome on into the stream. We're just hanging out for a little bit. Um, I'll go for like 30 more minutes and then I'll probably call it there. We're just hanging out and chatting and stuff. It's it's a pretty good time. 
I'm having a good time at these. I hope you guys are too. Oh, here's a good question for you. What anime are you guys watching this season? What is your big anime this season? There's a, there's a couple here, right? That I've already mentioned, like the Blue Archive anime, um, Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night, Whisper Me a Love Song, but there's another anime that I've been watching too called Girls Band Cry. That one's really cool so far. It's another like band anime. It's like a band anime. It's like a like all female cast ensemble and stuff. It looks pretty cute. It's all 3D CG. And honestly, it's not bad. The animation style looks pretty good for, for CG. I'm very impressed with that. But yeah, like I don't know, this season I've been focusing so much on Yuri anime. I can't help it, dude. I just, I love girls too much, I guess. I, I love girls too much. Try to play Roblox? Maybe eventually. I don't know. Also, hey, Marl, thank you so much. Good evening to you too. And Marco, do you watch One Piece? I've never watched One Piece. I saw One Piece and I thought to myself, there's too much to watch. There's too much to watch, too much to read. I'm never gonna catch up on One Piece. I'll just wait until it's over, honestly. Solo leveling, yeah, that's one I heard about recently. Your Lie in April. Isn't Your Lie in April like really old? Like, I swear that's like an old, that's like an old anime, isn't it? Am I crazy? I could have sworn that's an old anime. I could be wrong though. And question, why are you not verified? That's what Kane was wondering. Uh, I'm not verified because I don't pay for it. I'm not interested in paying for, for meta verification or whatever. And also, hey Neo, sorry I missed your message. Hello, hello. Over on Facebook. Yeah, I, I don't want to pay for meta verified, so I'm just not going to bother, honestly. Why would I spend like $20 a month on like meta verified? Which doesn't do anything for me, and it's basically useless, like honestly. Why would I do that? No thank you. Very wide underrated VTuber. Who's underrated? Old but gold. Yeah, your line April is old but gold, isn't it? Step over on YouTube is asking, have you seen that COD Kong glove bundle thing that they did similar to that Apex Bloodhound skin? You have to buy a hundred dollars worth of bundles to get it. That sounds stupid. No, thank you. COD is just cringe, honestly. Like, COD is just so over. I was kind of hoping that Ubisoft's new game would come out. It's called X Defined, right? I'm very impressed. I was very impressed when, when I was playing the beta. I'm very heartbroken that it hasn't come out yet, honestly. I don't think that X Defined is ever going to come out, which kind of sucks, honestly. Hey, Alex! Thanks so much for the membership! Thank you, thank you! Oh, it didn't... Did it show up at all? Oh, it's not showing up properly. Weird, what's going on there? I have no idea why it's doing that chat. Since Rin took my soul. PLS help. It's been three months since Rin took my soul. Please help. No. There will be no help for you. It's Jover for you. It's Jover for you. It's all over. Let me try like refreshing it, I guess. It's just weird. It was weird that that happened. It wasn't supposed to happen like that. Why is my like alert bugged anyway? That is just too weird. I don't know what to say. That's too strange. That's frustrating though, I gotta say. I don't know why it's doing that recently. Let me try doing that again. Let me uh let me try re let me try like sending a test and seeing what happens. Let me do like oh let me do like a recent event here. Let me just do it again, see if see if I can get it fixed. Do it do it again. Why does it do that? Why is my stream alert broken? Dude, why is it broken? Dot, it's been three months since Rin took my soul. PLS help. Weird. That is really weird. I don't think I, I changed anything. It's fine on YouTube. Really? It looks weird on my screen. Did you see it on my screen? Like, it looked broken. 
on, on my screen. If it looked fine on YouTube, that's cool then. But it, it looked super broken for me. I don't know. My stream alert's borked, I guess. It's borked. Very heartbroken there. I'm gonna have to take a look and see what I can do about that, because it kinda sucks that it's broken, I gotta say. Do you watch Demon Slayer? now? Nah. Demon Slayer looks like too gruesome for me, you know? Too violent. It's like, eh. It looks gross. Like, ugh. Too much violence. It's like too gory and stuff, right? I don't know. I'm not big on I'm not big on gore and and whatever. You know? Evangelion is R2. Yeah. I, I gotta watch Eva, honestly. I've I've like I've delayed watching Eva for so long. I don't know why, I've just never bothered. Mm. This like this gamer subs is so good. I'm 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 drinking the Jujutsu Kaisen flavor. It's called like cursed energy or something. Over on gamer subs. It's really good, honestly. It's got like this like sour, kinda tangy taste to it, but it's also sweet. It's really nice. The closest I can think of is like I imagine like Stephen Hayes like flavor on Gamer Swaps. What's it called again? It's called emotional damage, isn't it? Or like or like Shy Lily's um, blowhole blast. It it tastes like those, honestly. Pretty similar to those. Really cool. Oh oh, here here's a question. Here's a question for you. here's a question for for you, bros. I'm gonna put up a poll. I want to know: Should I stream on Facebook more? Should I stream on Facebook more? What do you guys think? Should I stream on Facebook? I can't decide. I don't want to stream on Twitch. The reason being, I don't want people to watch me on Twitch. I'm not interested in Twitch. I don't really care about Twitch. And it's like, YouTube is where I am, you know? It, 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 it kind of sucks when people watch me on YouTube, but it's like, I mean, like when people watch me on Twitch, cause it's like, that is stuff that should go on my YouTube, honestly. Like to be honest with you guys, I should just I should just stream on YouTube and 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 Facebook. I'll probably do that. Like imagine this, what if I like what if I stream on like YouTube, Facebook, maybe stream on Twitter. We'll see, and stuff like that. You know, because you can stream on Twitter. The thing is, the thing is, I don't want to pay for that stupid ass check mark. Screw that, you know. Screw that. I don't want to. I don't know. Like, look at that stupid like check mark or whatever. That seems so dumb, honestly. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't want to do that. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to pay for that stupid check mark. That cringe ass X premium or whatever. Forget about it, honestly. But I don't know. I can't decide. Stream on TikTok. I did. I did try streaming on TikTok. I had an awful experience. Not gonna lie. It was. It was kind of awful. Like, nobody saw me on TikTok and stuff, and it was very frustrating. It kind of sucked. I, I didn't have a good time. Oopsies, I just accidentally closed my Facebook, like, live, um... Accidentally closed my Facebook live thing here. Oopsie daisies. Oopsies. Let me, let me get back onto this, this live stream thing here. Reconnect, there you go. Alright, nice. Why did Elon buy Twitter for so much while Twitter is free on the App Store? Because he's stupid. He's stupid and cringe. That's why. Simple as that. The most divorced man in history, honestly. The most divorced man in history. But yeah, like honestly, like I don't want to give a single penny to the cringe ass musk man, honestly. I don't want to give him a single penny, so forget about it. Yeah, so how about this? What if I stream here on YouTube? I stream on Facebook. Where else can I stream using uh using Restream? I don't know, honestly, like, bros, I honestly don't want to stream on- I don't want to stream on Twitch. I don't want to go back to Twitch or whatever. Maybe I should? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I go back on Twitch? 
Maybe for special events only. Maybe I'll stream on Twitch for special events, but otherwise I'll stream on YouTube. Sounds good, sounds good. I think that's a good idea. Oh, what if I stream on, on, what if I stream on, on, uh, what's it called? What if I stream on, on Instagram? Is that a thing? Do people stream on Instagram? I've never seen that before. Like, honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Apparently you can stream on Telegram. Somehow. But like, you know, there's like, there's specific, like, places where I'm never gonna stream. I'm not interested, you know? Like, I'm never gonna stream on Kick. Not interested in that. Never gonna stream on, like, never gonna stream on TikTok again. I'm, I'm kind of done with that, honestly. I had a bad experience with it, so, nah. Don't want to stream on Twitter. So, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of like, it's just like here, Twitch, and like, in, like, here, Twitch, and like, Facebook, and that's kind of it, isn't it? I'll stream on Facebook, I guess. I don't mind that. I'll stream on Facebook, why not? I used to stream on Facebook more, and I used to have, like, I used to be a level up creator over on Facebook. I used to be a level up creator, and I had the cool badge that meant I was, like, a level up creator, and... It was so awesome, and it had so many cool features, and then they took it away from me. Facebook took it away from me. Do you know why? Because I wasn't streaming often enough, and I was like, that that, that freaking sucks, honestly. Like, you've got to be freaking kidding me, you know? Like, that just sucks. Whatever. I'll stream on Facebook, though. I don't mind streaming on Facebook. I don't mind streaming on Facebook. And honestly, like, for me, it's like... The reason I was focusing on YouTube so heavy, like at the very beginning, was because like I needed the watch hours to become a partner. And now look at us. Now I'm a YouTube partner. I'm a YouTube partner already, so it's like I'm not as concerned about spreading out and expanding. I'll say that. I'm not as concerned about expanding. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back to Twitch. Who knows? Oh, that hurts. Yeah, it hurt. It sucks. Like, there's like a requirement to become a level up creator, and it sucks. It, it's really, it's really frustrating, honestly. You took everything from me. Nah, uh So true. So true, Quizke. You should stream on TikTok too. I do not. I do not like TikTok. I don't want to waste my time using that stupid TikTok live studio BS or whatever. Like, I'm sorry, but it's either OBS or nothing. I'm never gonna waste my time um, downloading TikTok live studio and wasting my time with all of that stuff. No, absolutely not. It's, it's OBS or nothing, honestly. TikTok has like, deliberately made it impossible to get your stream key and it, it it freaking sucks honestly like it's just such it's such garbage it's ridiculous honestly so i don't know unless i use obs unless i use obs i'm just not gonna stream on on, on tiktok ever don't care your voice randomly makes me go oh thank you so much honestly like i'm flattered i'll say that <laughs> I'll say that. I'm very flattered. Thank you. Very flattered. Why you hate TikTok? I don't know. It's just like... TikTok just never was really useful for me. I don't know. It just never felt useful. It never felt like people were really discovering me and stuff. So it's like, eh, whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll stream on Twitch again. Maybe I'll do like... The multi-streaming thing again. I'll, I'll have to decide. I'll give it a shot, I guess. I'll think about it. I, I was multi-streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook for a while, and like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now that I'm less stressed out about becoming a YouTube partner, um, it's definitely going to be a lot easier for me to justify, like, streaming on, on Twitch again, so we'll see. No promises, though. No promises. And like, I always say this on every stream, I always say this on every stream, like, YouTube will always be my home. YouTube is my home, it's where I focus the most energy. Um, if you don't like that, you can just uh, deal with it. You know? 
If you don't like it, just deal with that. If any of y'all have enjoyed the Discord, you should. Residents of the Cat Girl Supreme herself. So true. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the Discord, I highly recommend it. Uh, bear in mind, it's for people who are 18 plus only. Thank you very much. If you're interested in checking out the Discord, I'll plunk the link over there um, on the Facebook chat. On YouTube, just check my description. You'll find it there. But yeah, be sure to check us out over on Discord. I'd love to meet you guys and hang out and chat and stuff, so... If you guys would be interested, be sure to do that. You aren't available on my YouTube, so please live on Facebook. Sure, why not? I'll, I'll do Facebook again, I like it. Your voice is too cool to leave this live stream. Oh, thank you, Marco. I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Hi, can you say this? Uh, I'll think about it, Elena. Let me just plunk that through. <laughs> Let me just funk that through and make sure it's not sus. Alright, I don't think it's sus, is that? It? It's like a tongue twister, isn't it? It looks like a tongue twister. Trey, Tristes, Tigris. I can't do it, sorry, I sound so white. I sound so white. Ugh, I sound so like cringe. Like, uh, like I obviously don't sound like, like a Spanish speaker. I sound so cringe, I can't do it. I can't do it, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so shy. I can't do it. I'm so shy, I'm so shy. Thanks for the try, thank you. Tre tristes tigres, tragabon trigo, and on trigo. See, like when I when I read it, when I read it, sometimes sometimes my voice turns into like French, like French speaking accents. Like, when I see Trigal, I think of, like, French. Or, like, Tre. Tre, tre Tristes, you know? I can't do it. I'm so cringe. Totally read out a message in a language you don't know. Eh, uh, sometimes I do it. As long as it's, like, not sus. Oh, I, I should think about it. Alex, do you want to be a mod for my for my YouTube? I was thinking about it, it's like, it'd be nice to have more mods. Like, for like, for like the times when like, um, my other homies aren't available and stuff, would you like to be a mod on my YouTube? You get like, a cute like, badge and stuff. Oh dang, really? No, I was just kidding. I mean, if you want to. Being a mod is a big responsibility, so... Do you have a pet in your home? I used to have pets. I don't have any anymore. Can you say Gambare, Gambare? Gambare, Gambare. There, are you happy, Cyril? Gambare, Gambare. There you go. We need to play Void Crew or Lethal Company. Hey, good morning, Annie. Yeah, we do, don't we? We really, really do. I'll do it eventually, I promise, I promise. Just not right now. Um, reason being, I gotta like... Oh wait, Lethal Company, yeah, let's play Lethal Company. Let's do it next week. How about that? Let's do it next week because um, I have a lot of I have a lot of exams this week, so I I don't know how comfortable I am with like doing a long stream this week. I'll probably stream on like Thursday evening, Thursday evening and stuff though. We'll see. Content void company is so true. So true. So true. I've only ever modded on Twitch a while back for a friend. Oh, that's chill. Here, you can be um, you can be a mod. Here, enjoy enjoy your moderation ability, Alex. I don't know what badges it'll show, but if you type again, I want to see what badges it shows. Hope you pass. Thank you. Next week, please live stream. Yeah, sure. I'll stream on Facebook. Why not? I'll stream some games on live stream too. Darkwoods, good to see you. It's been a while. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Thank you for the kisses. I think that's like another thing about like, I think that's another thing about like streaming and like fans and stuff that I've been thinking about. Like I used to be so like uptight about it, but honestly, like no, I I love it. I love I love all the affection. I love the support. I love all the compliments. Thank you so much. 
I, I really do love them. I'm, I'm so grateful for them. Sometimes, like, when I'm feeling down, I'll look at, like, the comments and I'll feel really good. Like, there are so many comments from, like, people who are like, oh, you inspire me. Or like, oh, you made my day just that little better and stuff. And it's like, it makes me happy to know that, like, what I do makes a difference for other people. Thank you so much. And I also, I, I'm also grateful that people think I'm hot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't recommend dark jokes. I, I don't recommend dark humor here. Um, reason being, it's not appropriate for YouTube chat, and I do have to moderate up. It's not, it's not like, it's not, um, the thing is like, I have to moderate it, right? If I don't moderate my chats properly, then it's like, YouTube is gonna get mad at me. So it's like, yeah, I don't recommend dark humor, nothing inappropriate please, and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I, I just don't recommend it in general. Don't recommend it in general, Xbox. Do you like horror? Um, here's the thing with horror games. Every time I play a horror game, I get bored. You guys should check out my, my Amnesia stream, where I was playing Amnesia the Bunker. I got so bored. It wasn't fun. And when I was first streaming, when I first started streaming, um, I played Alien Isolation, which is supposed to be like this scary game, right? But honestly, it just kind of annoyed me. Like, I got annoyed at it, and I got like so bored, and I was like, ugh. Uh, I'm so tired of it, you know? So, man, I don't bother. How about a normal joke? Sure. I like normal jokes. Do you play The Last of Us? Uh, maybe when it comes, maybe when I get it on PC, I'll play The Last of Us. I, I, I do know the story and everything. I've never played it for myself though, but it might be fun. Who knows? I don't know. What do you call a fish with a bow tie? What is a fish with a bow tie, Xbox? Meanwhile, I don't want to do puzzles in any horror games. I prefer the puzzles to like the actual horror sometimes, honestly. So fish to it. Good one. If I had like, if I had a soundboard, I'd play like a laugh track right now. I should do that, honestly. I should add a soundboard. Pretty good. It checks out. As a person who gets lost easily, especially in the dark, I get bored too. Yeah. For me, it's like the enemies, the monsters never feel scary for me. Like when I played Resident Evil 8, or like when I played Resident Evil 3, or wait, no, was it Resident Evil 4 Remake, right? And I streamed it. The reason why I love those games so much is because they're not really like horror, horror. They're like action horror. I like action horror because at least I have something to do. At least I get to shoot monsters and zombies and whatever. You know what I mean? Can you say putting out... Putting out... Oh, putting... Putting... Put... Putting Tupa fast or not? No, I can't do that. Let's, let's, uh, let's try to avoid, like, trying to, like... Let's try to avoid tongue twisters and stuff because, like, I don't want to accidentally, like say something that might be like offensive in a language or something. So let's try to avoid like tongue twisters please, kitty paws. Horror games very often go the good atmosphere and tension for the first 30 60 minutes but then you just kind of know what's going to happen. Exactly Tommy, exactly. Oh right, um yeah you can message me on messenger if you want. Um I don't mind. The only rule I have basically is like don't message me on discord DMs please. I don't accept Discord DMs. That's one of the only places where like I keep it private. So don't don't message me on Discord DMs, please. But like if you want to message me on Facebook Messenger or whatever, that's cool too, I guess. Or like um I wouldn't recommend Twitter DMs and stuff like that, but like Facebook Messenger, whatever, sure. I'm cool with that. Do you love panda? Like animal panda? I guess I like panda, I guess. Like, I like, uh, I like all animals. I'm, c I'm cool with all animals. Except for stupid ones. I like to call stupid animals, like, stupid names. Like, the ones that look dumb, like the sunfish. And stuff like that. You know, like, those stupid, ugly sunfish? And, like, they look like flat pancakes. Like, they look like ugly pancakes. They're so dumb. I hate them so much. They're so dumb. 
Dumb animals. Awful. Awful, dumb, silly animals. I'm scared of horror, but at the moment I have weapons, I am doomed. Hell yeah, Chris Guy. Oh, but the moment I have weapons, I'm doomed. Hell yeah, Chris Guy. And Alex. There's always a point where it's no longer fear, but determination to push through. Oh, I agree. Oh, 100% there. I agree, I agree. How's my restream doing? Like, the quality of my restream. Super curious here. Let me take a look here. How's it looking, restream? How's it looking? I guess this all gets. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay, good. Good, good, good. GTA Vice City Stories is very hard, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's pretty tough, isn't it? Hey, Darkwoods! Thanks so much! Thank you so much for the, uh, for this, for the membership. Why is it not working? Why is my pop-up broken? What horror game attracted you the most? Oh, my, my, my pop-up is broken. I'm so sad. What horror game attracted you the most? I would have to say, uh, Resident Evil 4. That game is awesome. It's so fun. I love Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's awesome. Resident Evil 2 is the same way. I like that one too. Um, trying to think of other ones I like. Dead Space is pretty neat, but it feels very slow, so I never finished it. I got kind of bored of it, honestly. And stuff like that. Where is everyone going? Bingo? So true, so true. I'm attracted to voice. Yes, please. Thank you so much for the compliments. I love it when people say they like my voice. I put a lot of work into it. Thank you so much. Play Mobile Legend and Let's Play? Uh, I'm good. I'm all good. It's 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 not it's nothing personal. I'm just like not interested in Mobile Legends. Hey Zamasu, how's it going? Welcome on into the stream. Hmm. This game receptus is so good. It's so yummy. I love it, love it, love it. Alright, bros. Um, it's looking to be that time. I am going to um I'm gonna end the stream for now, guys. Just cause it's looking to be that time. I gotta I I still gotta like have like breakfast and stuff and I haven't eaten anything and I'm so hungry. And what was that? I want to I want to do like a bit of like last minute studying for my exam uh, before I have to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna say um, thanks everybody for hanging out. Isn't that Tagalog? Uh, what you're asking me to say, uh, Marco? Isn't that Tagalog? Mahal kita. That's that yeah, that's that's the god look, isn't it? Oh my god, are you baiting me to say I love you? Oh my god. Mahal kita. Right? That's how you say it, right? Mahal kita. Mahal, mahal. Doesn't mahal also mean like expensive or a lot? I think it does, right? I can't remember. Dude, I should be, I should, I should be like the protagonist. I should be like the main character of like, I should be the main character of like an, an of like a manga. And like the manga title is like, the manga title is like, I can't believe my VTuber. Or like, I can't believe my idol is Filipino? Question mark, question mark, exclamation mark. Like that should be a title of my manga, you know? Like if I have a manga one day, it'll be like, my streamer is Filipino. Or like, my streamer knows Tagalog. Be Kafka actor, you're literally her. I wish I was Kafka. Oh man, I wish I was Kafka so bad. You have no idea, I wish I was Kafka. You know, like, hi Astral Expressors. You know? But it's like, she has like a southern drawl to her voice, which I can't do. Or like, cut in the net. Cut in the net. Or something like that, you know? That's a good one. Just in time. I love Kafka. She's so cute. Alright, anyway, bye chat. Bye chat. Bye chat. I'm gonna call it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Uh, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna stream tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then.
All right, but yeah, I'm gonna get some food. Bye bye. I'm hungry. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Check out my YouTube. Okay. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye.